Really excited to listen to this one. It's a band that I somehow missed over the years. It's Turnstile with the 2021's album Glow On. We listened to one tune on an Orcs battle on stream and I loved it. It's raining, it's England. Let's go. Oh. In bloom, Nirvana. like immediately good this band takes very little effort to get into it straight in no fucking about with this lot i like these like 90s punky grungy guitars Ooh. oh it's like old offspring before they went utter shit. Mmm, I love that bit. Celebrate with some uh, Easter egg. Proper ECW in the 90s music. Banging. Banging. Yeah. Oh yeah, now we're old school offspring. Woo! This song is crazy. Live must be nuts. Fire. And he takes my brother immediately. Have you heard? Okay, different vibe on this one. It's like Weezer, Offspring, Old Offspring, and Nirvana had a baby. Now this is the one we heard on stream. Definitely a five for five at the beginning of this album. It really doesn't make sense how I'd not heard this band, but that's that's just something that happens in life. I guess I've been so like deep into the hip hop world in the last five years. Also, the name of the band is the least inspiring name. <laughs> Do it no 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable tune. Proper, proper funky on this. Oh, it's crunchy. Straight in. This is relentless. Man, I want to play some Tony Hawk. I want to play some Tony Hawk. Why didn't they remake Tony Hawk 3 after that amazing remake of 1 and 2? Seven for seven. Easy. Easy. Will you ever get the high Did not give a damn good. You can feel the hole you left behind. You can feel the hole you left behind. Oh. Very different so far. I've not listened to much Blood Orange, but the, the album needed a change of pace, I think, anyway. Yeah, we needed a change of pace. It was a very unusual change of pace. It's alright. Maybe that would maybe that'll grow me. I'm kind of ready to get back to the action though now. The drums are Got it, sorry, the, the, whole, the whole start just needs to reload. The, the, the drums were punching a hole in my chest and then when it dropped back in, it dropped in properly.
Yeah, this feels like more of an album track, very much more of the same, but on this record, more of the same is just, it just bang. Yeah, the mix is really good on the whole album, I think. Um, no gog. Uh, Esque. Police? Policey? Yeah, I agree with you there, Not Gogger. There is a fine line between being overproduced, underproduced, and exactly. I guess it's the same with all music, but overproduced heavy rock sucks. I'm not, I'm not sure about this one. The album has lost a little bit of punch. It's still fucking great, though. And we're, oh, yeah, these last few songs will like, be over before we know it. Drum is sprinting, sprinting. Okay. Ooh. Love the switch in this song. Oh, I could have done with one more drop back in on that song. Really got to see it live, okay. Oh, it's pure Nirvana. Yeah, get away. Nirvana, get away. What a fun album, banging album, immediate, impactful album. Beautifully mixed. I imagine it's fucking amazing live. And not enough bands sound like Nirvana. Like, realistically, for one of what is supposedly one of the most influential bands of all time, one of the best bands of all time. Not many bands sound like them. I'm not saying that they do necessarily, but there's obvious cues, even just the way the guitars sound. The, the, the drums, obviously the grunge kind of came out of punk in the first place. And this mixes back in elements of hardcore, grunge, some metal, even some pop, a little bit of indie. But obviously the hardcore punk is the, is the through line. 